this one spin option. Of course, that spin option was uh, Wellington Massac. Oh, he's got him. Off some goals. Zimbabwe strikes. That's a very good ball. I think he had line covered, but it's just delivery. A little shape into Tejinarain Chandapur. Gets the inside edge and onto the stumps. And he's absolutely pleased. He's pumped. A little short from uh, Willington Masakadza. Really nicely played by Craig Brathwaite. And I'm not really saying to be extra fancy. That's a good shot of the back foot. Brathwaite continues with his form. That's in the air for a long time, but it's found the gap and should find the boundary. So Raymond Reefer gets his first boundary of this innings. Yeah! Is that that first? Oh, no, it isn't. Paul Raffle goes up and he says, you're dismissed. That is the end of Craig Brathwaite, the captain. Innings of this test match got a breakthrough. Key breakthrough brought the, the wicket of uh, Brathwaite. to go. What a mage. And that's going to run away all the way to the boundary, I'm sure. Craig Irvin chases in vain. There's the drive. That's beautiful. Exquisite stroke play from Raymond Reef. Oh, just having. Oh, and that's an inside edge. It's just gone past the diving Tafaz Watsiga. And runs away to the boundary. The angle is pretty sharp. This time slightly short. It's been put away. So the margin of error is very, very slim. Boundary to Reefa. All the way to the close of play around 5.30. And a really wonderful straight drive from Rifa to close off the 38th over. There's the West Indies move to 85. Yes. It's in oh. the air, just past that diving fielder. Probably some fingertips to that. It's a boundary. Again, Apesh, this time it'll be a boundary. He's got more bat on that. And he's played it behind the square. So a lot of ground to cover for Sweeper. Yes. Big shot. And uh, just gets it over mid on. And goes to the boundary. That's a good shot. Yeah, he's not going to cut that off. Quality stroke from Rifa. Finds the gap. Shot. Shot. Just said, watchful, make sure you get to lunch. And uh, Nyouchi over pitching. Player. And then in recent times, he's tried to trottle back and to spend more time out in the middle. He's fine. Defense and attack. That shot that went for six is now followed by one for four. So. Short and length, and he's almost uh, missed that short leg fielder via whisker. Boundary to end the first over after lunch. 137 for two. And the 50. That's a high in the air. That's a safe shot. It's a clean hit. One bounce over mid-off. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Just a paddle sweeps that. Bit of a wrap shot boundary. And there it is, uh, Jermaine Blackwood. His uh, 17th Test 50. And, uh, what an in important uh, innings it has been. Slightly up and it's been a perfectly timed jump by Masakadza to get a cotton ball and grab wicket number three. it is Darren Ganga my response to you was going to be guys you've still got to keep trying to get wicked Jim and Blackwood just cutting under the bounce again it's a fifth day pitch so you're not that should be gone 
The umpire, I know Chubby, just taking a stroll across to his tee of the delivery. And there is that big deflection. Maybe a second look might give us a conclusion. Calmez. That's sliding down the leg side. He's bowling too quickly. He's got the line wrong. He's got the length wrong. He's got the pace wrong on that delivery. That's well played. He's used the pace here. Has the silver. And that'll run away. To the boundary. Oh, he's forced that away. It's just angled into the silver. Pulled away. It's too short. Just too short on the surface where there's not too much assistance for the seamers. This approach. Again. You can see the yeah. manner in which he's played it. They'll get two in the end, but definitely got himself in a position where he's looking to force the ball away. 203 for five. A look at uh, what they produced with the bats in the second innings. Uh, two standout performers, Raymond Reefer and Jermaine Black. Wellington Masakatsa, well, he bowled the most overs, 23, 3 for 71. Not quite economical. Five. Mm, sporting declaration by the West Indies. A lead of 271. It means that Zimbabwe will have 49 overs. At the end of day five to try and get this 272 runs to win. Right. 49 overs remaining. Donington, how do you go about this? The, the sort of excitement, I guess, in the commentary box is that maybe we'll see a bit of... Boundary. Crunched away. This time this width outside the off stump is very strong. Yeah! Outside edge, is it? Yes, it is. Gurakesh Moti, unlike the way he bowled the majority. Boundaries. It was a perfectly lined delivery that had a little bit of flight, pace a little bit. Outside edge. And it's gone through. That surely is the keeper's catch. Catch it in the air but it's very very safe he knows that's a huge vacant area that's a nice shot it's gone down and he's played it with the spin or overs it's up -ish. now that's the kind of approach you need you've got to put those away you've got to find a way to put the pressure on the opposition 50 up for zim that's a good shot will it be cut off no slightly short then you just rock back this wicket pitch is still so true this one who's touching the rope that's it, Craig. 2-4 oh, and too much bottom hand on that. Goes straight into the lap of the field around there. And a straightish mid-wicket. That's loose from Moti. And it's a full toss and uh, good play is Craig Irvin looking to use his feet. That's going to run away for four. We'll have to see if that's come off the glove or the forearm. And uh, like that, that's intent. Not a sort of normal test shot. Oh, yeah! That is a good catch. It's gone quickly and it's gone quite a way to his really right. Really, Chamonorich Chibaba, he's just stabbed at this. Convinced it was a great ball, but an outstanding <laughs> Big appeal and gone. Oh, Gave him out straight. Tiga. So hardly surprising. And that's a good way to finally get off the mark for Tafaz Watsiga. First boundary for him in Test Match Cricket. There'll be four more. 
That's a bad ball and it's been put away by Tepatwa. They've only had one test match. Yeah! He's given him. He's given him out. I know Chubby puts up his finger. See of the delivery. Let's see if the bat is away from the pad. That gives a good indication that it was bat. If there was a sound, the ball was no way close to the pad. So once. Playing back, Brad Evans and uh, a judged LBW. Zimbabwe now six down. Moti has his fourth. Accumulating four wickets. <laughs> and the deception. Don't only think about this delivery. The one before spun pass. Down, Ross, down. There's Ross the full down. toss you wanted. Darren Ganga and Roston Chase has done the Sydney Harbour Bridge. He's gone straight over the top of it. Goes past the bat, and I think that's it. Is it? Weston is dominated first three, three and a half days of this test match, and then there was that resilience with the bat from Zimbabwe. And again in the second innings, but more importantly, they didn't allow the West Indian bowlers to pick up wickets early in the innings. Moti producing his career best. So your match summary, West Indies, 447 for six declared. And top scorer Chandapal, 207 not out. Zimbabwe were good in their first innings, and in the end, with a target set by West Indies, Zimbabwe 134 for six, and the match drawn.